Hello Future Red and Ruby class, my name is Miss Brisley and thank you for joining me for this story time video. As you can see I've put my tree up because it's almost Christmas time and it's this time of year that we start giving out Christmas cards or writing our letters to Santa. And this is uh, the story that I would like to read with you today. It's called Santa Post and it's all about one little girl's very special letter to Santa. Now. This book was written by Emma Yarlett and it's one of our favourites. This is what we are reading in Red and Ruby class at the moment. And I'm going to turn the story around and I'm going to look on the back because this is called The Blurb and it gives us a bit more information about what the story is about. And it says, help, it's a Christmas emergency. I've just received some Santa post from a little girl called Amy, but I can't work out what she wants for Christmas. Will you, yes you, help me open the presents and find the right one in time for Christmas Eve? Love from Santa. So if you haven't done so already, get nice and comfortable, grab your teddy bear or maybe a hot chocolate and we're going to read our story and see if we can help Santa get the right present for Amy. There were only five sleeps until Christmas when, whoosh, something fell down Santa's chimney. It was something, it was some very late Santa post. Who could it be from? Santa pulled it out and opened it up. Oh dear, can you see where the post has landed? It's landed in the fire and if I open the letter up, oh no. Can you see there are a few little burn marks from the fire? The letter said to Santa, hello and hooray, it's almost Christmas again. Hope you've had the most wonderful year full of jingles and bells. I was wondering, could I please have a for Christmas? Oh no, I don't know if you can see, but where um, Amy had written what she wanted for Christmas, it's been burnt by the fire. It's, want, it's what I want most in the whole world for Christmas. Love, Amy. P.S. My house is the one with the blue door. Hmm, some very important information was missing from the letter. It was a problem. A big problem. What's Santa going to do? Santa tried to work out what Amy wanted for Christmas for hours and hours and hours, but he needed help. Extra special North Pole help and fast. I know, I'll write to head elf, Elvalfa, he said. She will know what present to get Amy. Oh, this is a beautiful page. It's an elf workshop. And you can see all the elves really busily getting ready for Christmas. When Santa's letter arrived, all the elves were very, very busy. Elf Alpha sent out a toy making request to the only elf who was free. Boggins. Elf Boggins looked in the supply cupboard there weren't many good toy materials left, but he tried his hardest with what he could find. Then he sent Amy's present, Elf Press Delivery, to Santa. What do you think Boggins made for Amy? Hmm. Santa was busy ironing when a very elfish parcel arrived. So here it is, and it's got a little note on the front. It says, apologies, we are very busy here in toy factory making. All the children's toys for Christmas. With four days to go, we are currently 3,078 days behind schedule. But we're working on elf time, and so hopefully everything should be ready in time for Christmas Eve. Boggins was the only elf available, so I asked him to make a present for Amy. He's done his best with what materials we had left, but he's new to the department and... You know what he's like. Better dash, the bells are rocketing and the rockets are jingling. <gasps> Goodness. From Elf Alpha, Higglesbottom Senior. 
Should we open the present and see what Boggins made? <gasps> and he made... Oh. Hmm. He made some smiley faces on some lumps of coal. Oh. Do you think Amy would want that for Christmas? Santa was surprised. Surely this couldn't be what Amy wanted. She was on the nice list. I know, I'll write to Mr Polar Bear, said Santa. He'll know what Amy wants. Let's have a look. Oh, another beautiful page. This must be where Mr Polar Bear lives, somewhere in the North Pole. Mr Polar Bear read Santa's letter in the icy cold. He knew what he wanted for Christmas and he thought he was, it was probably what Amy would like too. And so he set to work. Do you think Amy would want the same thing that Mr Polar Bear did? I'm not so sure. He hoped it would be big enough for Amy. Ooh, I wonder what it could be. Santa was mapping his Christmas journey when a giant reply arrived. <gasps> Look at this huge box. And the note on it says, Santa! have been working hard to make Amy the perfect present. I know she'll love it. Present enclosed, trust all is well, Mr PB. Let's open it up and find out what's inside. Oh my goodness, it's a giant scarf. Santa couldn't believe it. This gift was polar bear sized. It wasn't right for Amy and it was almost Christmas Eve. What can I do, wondered Santa. I know, I'll write to the chief reindeer. He's my last hope. So Boggins the elf made some coal and that wasn't really what Amy wanted. And Mr Polar Bear made a huge scarf that wouldn't fit Amy. Do you think Santa's going to have much luck with the reindeers? Let's try, let's find out. Oh, there they are. The reindeer were doing some last minute takeoff practice when Santa's letter arrived. The chief reindeer was very excited to get a letter from Santa Claus. The chief reindeer called an emergency reindeer meeting and announced, Santa needs us to help find Amy a present. And there they are, Dasher, Comet, Dancer and Prancer, Vixen, Cupid, Donna, Blitzen and the Chief. They put their antlers together and had a brilliant idea. It was what they wanted, it's what they all wanted for Christmas. Hmm, what could reindeers want for Christmas? Do you think that's the same thing Amy wants? Let's have a look. Santa was stacking presents when a parcel arrived. It said, Howdy Mr S, so good to hear from you dude. We've been surfing some clouds ready for the big night. Dancer dinged her antlers on a star doing an epic dive. It was awesome. Dasher, Dancer, Prancer, Vixen, Comet, Cupid, Donna, Blitzen and me put our antlers together and have got Amy the best Christmas present ever. She is going to love it. Wish I could see your face when you open this parcel. It's gonna blow your mind and your beard. See you later, peace out, Chief. The Chief Reindeer. What do you think is inside? Let's have a look. Oh, hmm. It's a carrot and it's had a big bite out of it as well. Do you think Amy's going to want a big carrot with a bite out of it? I don't think so either. Oh no, this absolutely couldn't be what Amy wanted most in the world. But there was no time left. It was Christmas Eve. This was the first time in Christmas history that Santa had failed to find someone the right present. He felt miserable. Oh dear, poor Santa. Beautiful page. 
There was nothing for it. Santa filled his sleigh with all the not quite right gifts and soared into the night sky. He had a very busy night ahead, but all he could think about was Amy. What would you do if you were Santa? What present would you give Amy? At last he arrived at Amy's chimney, just as it started to snow. He looked at the presents he had brought her. Santa couldn't give Amy any of these gifts. But what could he do? <gasps> he had an idea. It would take a long time, but he had everything he needed. It was going to be perfect. Okay, let's think. Santa's digging and he's got some coal. He's got a carrot and he's got a scarf. What could he make with those things, I wonder? Santa spent all of Christmas Day hoping that Amy liked her presents. Then all of a sudden the post arrived and it was Santa Post. Santa Claus, the Grotto, North Pole. Should we open it and find out? <gasps> to Santa, hello and Merry Christmas. I just wanted to say a big thank you for all the snow I asked for and my wonderful snowman friend. We've been playing tea parties outside all day. <gasps> Have a look, guys. Look at that lovely photo of Amy and her and her snowman. So Santa did save the day after all because if you can see really carefully, he used the carrot from the reindeers as the snowman's nose. He used the scarf from the polar bear to dress the snowman and he used the coal made by Buggins as the buttons for the snowman. Oh, what a wonderful present. Santa, you are the best and today is the best Christmas ever. Oodles and buckets of love, Amy. P.S. Christmas next year, please could I have, <gasps> uh oh, there's a smudge, I wonder what Amy had put, oh dear, not again, I hope you like that story everyone, I really love that story because it just shows that even if you're not quite sure what to get somebody, sometimes if you just put a little bit of thought into it, and make something for them. It's the best Christmas present after all. I hope you have a lovely Christmas and hopefully I'll see you all soon.